guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a try and haul a shein workout try and haul edition if you're new here welcome if you're not welcome back um i had i got some couple pieces from shein that cost me a total of 150 to 200 i have to check on shein for that all the outfits will be linked down below um i thought this would be a great idea for like girlies who want to save money and i've spent a lot on like gym outfits on amazon stuff you can find the same pieces on shein that cost less and also buy them in like a set like four or three yeah they come in like four or three and i thought this was like a good idea so i'm just going to get into the video in addition i will be letting you guys know where to get some other pieces not only on Shein, pieces like underwear and like sport bras where you get those good pieces on below. So stay tuned to the end. Yeah. My first piece is this, um, these leggings. I got this, it came in a set. So it was a set of four and you gotta choose like four colors that comes in it. I got two sets of this. So it was like different color, pink, purple, black, I know black is in all the sets, so like you'll get like three colors except for black. So yeah. So not have two blacks, but I got these colors in the same. One thing about buying workout pants is like you can get like a large or medium, but like make sure you get your size. Cause if you get it too small, then it will be too tight and it'll start like looking funny in the area in the lady parts area or if you get it too large then it'll be saggy and like saggy and then like when you're working out it'll start like looking funny and then it'll start slipping off your body so make sure to get your correct size and this is actually really good because it comes in four and i believe it costs like 30 dollars. and sometimes shan has actual sales that you could add a coupon and get less so my second piece is this two piece it comes in a set i really like the set the material on this set is thick y'all so this is not like thin you can basically walk outside and you will sweat in this it's pretty thick and i love it i'm gonna do a whole i'm doing 360. I love this set it's everything one thing i love about this set the set pieces is that you could either wear their bottom and wear a different top or wear the top and wear a different bottom it's not necessary for you to wear them together so that's actually a real good steal it comes like in a pack and it costs 30 dollars one thing i would this is what i was talking about about um sizing correctly so one thing about this one i got a medium and when i got the medium it just like my arms over here like it does not it's really tight so it feels uncomfortable when i lift some people i know some people they like it to be tight for more security but personally for me i like my tops being a little bit loose so that I won't feel like so sunk in especially like when you're sweating and stuff you don't want to feel like stuff sticking on your body too much so i got it two size so it's like optional i believe the more you wash it the more like it gets a little bit looser so another piece i got is these sports crop top sweater like crew neck like type of gym sweater um it is not thick so it doesn't provide much more warmth but it provides it's like i wear it basically as a long sleeve it is see-through so i would just put like a tank top or a sport bra underneath a tank top with a sport bra or just a tank top or a sport bra it comes separately so you have to buy them both separate i believe this is eight dollars and this is not nine dollars they were both on sale that's one thing that's a good thing about shein their stuff is always on sale so you actually get a real deal and they have like these little pockets on the side so when you're like lifting or working out you can put these right here and this is how we look in the back one thing i would say these actually lift up when you're working out so i'm gonna show y'all when you're going up like this they lift up so you actually want to wear something underneath like a sport bra or a tank top 
with a sport bra for like extra protection but these are actually really good when you don't want to like show your arms and stuff and you just you want to be covered up but not too covered up so and i also got this sweater from shein this is actually really it's not thick like the other one but it provides more coverage so when you're like lifting you it does not lift up so it stays down unlike the other sweater that i've shown you guys and it's actually i think it's a dupe to the gymshark like the ones people buy on amazon dupe and this is like a cheaper dupe for shein it's not it doesn't snatch you in but once you already like a little bit snatched you could yeah it's basically like the same but not really the same and this is how it looks okay last but not least i got this on the men's section there is a basic cotton t-shirt these are actually good for the girls who like to cover up more and not show more skin you can wear these with like your shorts or your pants you can also get them oversized so it can cover up more of your booty but i like more of your booty area but i like mine's like this i like more a little bit fitted so like when i'm doing my squats i can actually cover it up if i want to this comes in a set of four so you can get like green baby blue brown and black but black is always in the color so it will be linked down below sometimes for like the t-shirts and the sweaters the crew neck sweaters or the hoodies i always go to the men's section because their stuff actually i'm not gonna say it's better than the women's section section but it's actually a little bit better and i feel like their t-shirts is way it's not as thin as the women's section i feel like that's what a lot of clothing brand needs to work on like they will have the women's section thin thinner material and then the men's section thicker material and i never understood that so like ever since high school i always shop in the men's section when it comes to my jackets my sweater my t-shirts it's always the men's section because there's their tops over there on the other side is like better material some essentials for my sport bra it, apart from shan but for my sport bra i usually get them at walmart these are the few that i have to show you guys right now so i've been having this for like a year and they did not ruin anything sometimes it's good to go cheaper i won't say like cheaper but like what you can afford so you don't have to like buy expensive stuff to look good in the gym or to like fit right or something you don't sometimes you can even go to goodwill and get some like shorts and tops and stuff but for my sport bra i wear these and i got these from walmart so i got them for like on sale for like nine dollars eight dollars seven dollars and they have a really good section for those for sport bras and they're actually really firm and it will last you a good amount of time so you don't have to spend a lot of money on sport bras and sport bras another good item is these seamless underwears it's brand new I got these from Amazon for $30. They come in nine a set. They're thin. I would recommend these for the gym because I realized the difference from wearing a cotton underwear and a seamless underwear. These are actually really good because your underwear line will not show. So like for example, this. So they come in thong type or they come in like a thong type or they come in bikini type. I personally got mine as a bikini because I cannot stand the other stuff but they come in like cute colors and they cost about $30 and I actually really like these I feel like they're very essential you don't have to wear them but if you don't want your underwear showing yeah these are actually the a real choice another gem item will be one of these so this will must definitely be linked down below for the girlies who want to try doing weights or lifting or like doing your hip first and stuff this is actually really good so it's a pad and it actually comes with like belts that like sticks onto the pole and it helps you better so like the bar will not be on your body basically 
and this is a very good central i recommend everybody to get one especially if you your gym might not have one carry these ones just in case it will like it will save you a hassle lastly so you don't have to get this it looks very weird but i'm going to show you guys how to put it on um you don't have to get this for people who don't like wearing face trainers you don't have to but if you want to try waist trainer i would say this should be like one of the first things to like actually try instead of a waist trainer because i find it better than wearing a waist trainer personally um it's actually a little bit it takes a little bit of time to put it on if you don't know how to put it on but i believe this cost me eight dollars it will be linked down below it was pretty cheaper than a waist trainer and it does this job um i would not say wear it every day i would say wear it like when you're doing your workouts and stuff like your in-home workout but like wear it don't wear it throughout the house because it feels very uncomfortable so i'm gonna just show you guys how i put it on And it's already looped for me, but if yours does not come looped, you just loop one end into the hole. And then you put it on like the way how I just put it on. And I just squeeze it, not too tight, but tight enough that you could feel it because it will be going all around your body. And then you wrap yourself like a mummy, basically. And then at the end, at the end of this, the waist trainer, it will give you like different levels if you wanna stop two pairs. Stop to one, two, or three. Um, I would say first timer stop to one so you can like get used to it and then the more you like you get used to it and like wearing it you go up and up so I'm going to go to two because that's my preference yeah and this is how it looks later on so I usually just cover it up Sometimes I feel like this actually helps with my posture as well. So, yeah. One disclaimer about this is do not wear it when you're eating because when you're eating, it's like you want your food to digest good and you want it to go in your stomach and you don't want to cause like any headaches and stuff. So, I would not recommend you wearing it when you're eating. So, when you're eating, make sure to take it off. And you guys, that will conclude the ending of my Shein haul. I hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for my next video. Like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later.